Hello everyone and thank you for joining us in our first of what we hope to be many screencasts. My name is Ronan Isaac, VP of WLAN Mall, and today uh, I will be focusing on how quick and easy it is to set up a Ruckus Wireless Zone Director WLAN controller. A WLAN controller is a central configuration repository for all your ZoneFlex access points connected on your network. Uh, and When we're finished with this quick setup, these uh, configurations will be pushed out to all those ZoneFlex APs automatically. Um, so the first thing I did, which uh, I'm not going to show you here, is set up my computer to be on the same subnet as my Ruckus Wireless Zone Director. Once I did that, I can go ahead and open up any browser. This happens to be Internet Explorer. I'm going to open up a new tab here. And we're going to navigate to the default IP address of the zone director which is 192.168.0.2 hit enter this is the first screen that pops up this is your setup wizard screen um, the first thing it asks us to do is select our language I'm gonna leave it as English and hit next then it asks us to name our zone director this can be any descriptive name that you feel that you see fit something maybe um, to describe where you're actually placing the zone director or whatever it may be we're going to be super creative and just <laughs> call it zone director let's add a one in there choose your country code let's move on this is your management IP configuration uh, you can either have the zone director um, get its management IP via DHCP or set it manually I prefer personally to set these manually it uh, makes it easier for configuration later on so we're gonna leave it with the same default IP address and we can move on of course if this is not good for you change it to a subnet that is more manageable here's where we set up our primary SSID um, the zone flex uh, zone flex product and the zone director can handle up to eight SSIDs so um, this is where we set up our primary one we'll go ahead and call it uh, WLAM all rocks you can either leave the authentication open or set it up for WPA PSK you would probably want to set up set it up for WPA PSK uh, just because um, your network needs to be secure so there you go but I'm gonna leave it as open just for these purposes here and then you can also set up a guest WLAN at the same time this guest WLAN al allows a uh, unsecured network to be created this unsecured network will automatically um, turn on the captive portal feature of uh, the zone director and uh, each one of your guests will have to acquire a username and password in order to actually get onto the internet so this is a great feature very powerful and um, it comes default on the zone director so we'll move forward here we'll just set up our admin username and password and a user account hit next confirm that everything is as you would like it and we will hit finish that's it your zone director is now set up um, your primary SSID is set up, your guest WLAN is set up, and uh, to move on to more advanced configuration, we'll navigate, come to the logon screen, log in, and um, we can set up anything else that we'd like to set up. And uh, I'll be covering those uh, advanced features in, in our next set of screencasts. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find this uh, helpful. Please let us know how, what you thought of it. And uh, again, thanks for your time, and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.